North Fort Myers has a huge number of mobile and manufactured homes in diverse settings from private land to golf course country clubs. Want to see what's available? Stay tuned. In this video, we will tour the North Fort Myers area, visiting some resident-owned and land lease communities. We will also visit some RV parks that offer an affordable alternative using park model and manufactured homes. You'll see representative communities from small mobile home parks to some of the largest resorts in the state. Hello, I'm Russ Watson. I help folks choose a Florida manufactured housing solution that fulfills their dreams and meets their needs. Let's dig in. North Fort Myers is an unincorporated area of Lee County on the west coast of Florida. It's about 20 miles to the Southwest Florida International Airport. Fort Myers is just across the Calahoochee River to the south. Punta Gorda and Port Charlotte are to the north. There is very limited beach access on both Fort Myers Beach and Sanibel Island, about 20 to 25 miles south of here. Veterans here have access to the VA's Lee County Healthcare Center. The facility is located between North Fort Myers and Cape Coral. While technically not a VA hospital, this is a very large facility. There are two other major medical facilities across the bridge in Fort Myers. To reach Fort Myers, you must cross the Caloosahatchee River over one of two bridges. The river provides opportunities for fishing and boating. There are parks and fishing piers along both sides. As we pan up into the North Fort Myers area, you might notice the traffic is fairly light. This was a pleasant surprise for this area. The view you see here up Route 41 is pretty typical of the entire stretch. All the usual stores are here, Home Depot, Walmart, Publix, Winn-Dixie, etc. Most of the restaurants I saw were national chains, but there are some unique offerings along the river. There is a large public library and recreation center located at the North Fort Myers Community Park. I found over 50 parks in this area. Many are resident owned. There is also a community of over 4,000 homes on unrestricted private lots. River's Edge is just as you cross the bridge into North Fort Myers. I'd love to live here and have a boat at the marina next door. Twin Pines Village is a 55 plus land lease community with around 70 mobile home lots. They are a mixed RV and mobile home park. Lot rents are very reasonable for this area. They describe themselves as pet friendly and there is a clubhouse and a recreation room. Homes appear to be mostly single wide, but I saw a couple larger homes in the back. Southwind Village is a mixed 55 plus RV and mobile home park as well. It is listed at 58 mobile home lots. Homes here are a little larger, it seems. Two small pets up to 20 pounds are allowed. They have a clubhouse and offer additional RV and boat storage. The park looked really clean and the roads were in great shape. Swift's Mobile Home Park is a 55 plus park owned by Gemstone Communities. It offers boat and RV storage, a laundry room, Wi-Fi and is listed as pet friendly. This park is also a mixed mobile home and RV park. It struck me like a happy campground in a mobile home village. This might be more my style if I were just snowbirding for a few months and wanted to come back to some regulars as well as meet some new folks and make new friends every year. Fox Mobile Home and RV Park is a 55 and older community. It is pet friendly and tucked away, a little off Route 41 and away from traffic. 
DBPR lists it at 37 home lots and there are around 35 RV sites. It does look like a lot of the RV folks just leave their units here. I bet that makes for some grand reunions come early winter. So far these parks have all been registered as mobile home parks with DBPR. As such, residents qualify for benefits should the park close and have the protections of the state statutes. This is not always the case. Buccaneer Estates is a large gated resort park owned by ELS. It is a 55 plus community with just over 900 homes. This is Florida resort living at its finest. There is a storage area for RVs and boats and a very large list of amenities. The community is listed as pet friendly. It features a large clubhouse and two swimming pools. Many homes have water views. If you are looking for resort style living, be sure to check this one out. Swan Lake Village and RV Resort is listed by DBPR at 156 manufactured home lots. It has two clubhouses and a heated swimming pool. There is storage for RVs and boats. This community offers park models, which can be an economical solution to snowbirding. Take a look at their website for more details. They also offer pre-owned manufactured homes and have space available should you wish to purchase a new home. Lot rents in this park are very reasonable. There are large homes in this park, and the landscaping looks picture perfect. That pool sure looks delightful too. This is a nice sized park where you'll get to know most of the other residents. The RV component ensures a fresh stock of energetic activity goers every winter. Lazy Days Village is a 55 plus resident owned deed restricted community with over 400 home sites. The park features two clubhouses and a heated pool. Lots are individually owned and the common property is held by an association incorporated as a nonprofit. There are a mix of single wide and double wide units throughout the park. Everything seems to be in excellent condition, including the roads, common property, and the landscaping. The roads are set up so there's very little traffic in front of the houses. There's quite a variety of homes in here. Laurel Estates is another of the 55 plus deed restricted communities found in North Fort Myers. It is just under 200 homes. There is a clubhouse, swimming pool, and a large storage yard for recreational vehicle parking. Their website provides copies of the deed of restrictions, constitution, bylaws, storage agreement, and much more, making it an excellent resource to research the arrangements in this park and similar. There is a fascinating history of the park too. It also lists homes for rent and homes for sale. Renting a home in an area is an excellent way to decide if the area and the lifestyle are a fit for your dreams. There's a pretty good variety of single wide and double wide homes in this park. Landscaping is impressive and shows a lot of resident pride. Homeowners pay a small monthly maintenance fee to cover the cost of maintaining the common areas and weekly trash collection. With an active social committee and a Goldilocks size, this might be the resident owned park for you. Next door to Laurel Estates is Lake Arrowhead Village. It is also a 55 plus deed restricted community. The clubhouse and pool overlook a beautiful water feature. It appears to share the RV storage area with Laurel Estates. Also, the common properties in both parks are owned by the same corporation. The pool looks inviting and the clubhouse is quite large. There's plenty of parking and I would guess shuffleboard must be pretty popular here. The homes in this park are predominantly double wides. There are some beautiful homes overlooking the lake. 
Some have garages, while others feature oversized carports. Everything is immaculate, showing a great deal of resident pride. Landscaping looks professionally done, and the roads are in perfect shape. Here is the large RV storage area shared with Laurel Estates. I found very little on the internet regarding this community. Let us know in the comments below if you have any better luck. The Heritage is another ELS-owned 55-plus resort park. It is a mid-sized park at about 460 homes. It has all the features you'd expect in a resort community, with a large clubhouse, swimming pool, tennis courts, shuffleboard, and there's even a golf course in the park. The resort on Carefree Boulevard is a gated community where you own your lot and pay monthly HOA fees. According to their website, there are lots available for both manufactured homes and RVs. You can buy a new home through an affiliation with Palm Harbor Homes or buy an existing home in the community. The Homeowners Association is licensed by DBPR. This is an absolutely beautiful community. You can see a mix of double wide, single wide, and even RV homes. Del Tura Golf and Country Club is a 55 plus luxury golf resort owned by Hometown America. It is a gated community that features a 27 hole presidential course designed by Ron Garl. There are five swimming pools, a restaurant, spas, saunas, a fitness center, and almost every activity or club you can imagine. Listed by DBPR at 1,344 homes, this is a large community. So regardless of your interests, I'm sure you'll find plenty of folks to share them with. This is a must-see if a luxury golf course community is in your future. Fountain View Resort is a 55-plus resident-owned RV park. As you can see by the pictures, most are not your usual drive them up and down the street RVs. Some appear to be park models while others are smaller size manufactured homes. Monthly HOA fees and annual taxes are extremely affordable. Amenities include a community pool, hot tub, billiards, tennis, shuffleboard, and a community center. There is extra storage available for boats or RVs. If a cottage size home is all you need, this place is a great opportunity. Lake Fairways Country Club is a 55 plus manufactured home community owned by ELS. It features an expansive clubhouse, fitness center, community pool, tennis courts, and even a community restaurant. It is pet friendly. Many homes have water views and the lot sizes appear quite spacious. It has a lot layout arrangement of cul-de-sacs with homes in the center and homes on spokes surrounding it. This same layout is found in sister community Pine Lakes Country Club next door. Terra Woods is a 55 plus resort community owned by Hometown America. It features a huge community center and clubhouse along with tennis, pickleball, shuffleboard, bocce, and there's even a practice putting green. There's an RV and boat storage area too. At 730 homes, this is a fairly large community, so you can be assured there will be a lot of folks to join you in activities and events. Tamiami Village and RV Park is another resident-owned 55-plus community. The community is separated into manufactured housing and RV pads. They have three heated pools, hot tub, sauna, two clubhouses, an exercise room, and much more. The website has a very long list of social events and activities. There are over 700 homes in the community. It is actually two types of communities in one, with phase one being set up as a cooperative and phases two and three being set up as subdivisions. 
Up to two pets are allowed per household, restricted to 25 pounds. Rules and other documents can be found on their website. RV sites are not resident owned and may be leased on a daily, weekly, or long-term basis. There are many more parks, including resident owned, that we were unable to cover. A complete park list, along with those from other videos, will be posted on our Inner Circle members page. See the link in the description below. Membership in the Inner Circle is free. I hope you found our presentation on the communities in North Fort Myers helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel. Questions or comments? Leave them down below. If you would like to see more videos on communities in Florida, just click on the link. Thanks for watching and see you next time.